You know it is the dead period of the offseason when we are still talking about Brandon Ayuk to the New England Patriots. What is going on, Pats Nation? It's your boy, Colby, also known as Patriots Global, back here with another video. I appreciate you guys for clicking on today's video to hear me talk about some Patriots news. And today, right before the start of training camp, we got some rumors because the New England Patriots, Elliot Wolf, Gerard Mayo, they are not giving up on finding themselves a wide receiver one. This report is coming from NFL insider Josina Anderson, who is saying, and I quote, I'm told within the last couple of weeks, the Patriots reached out to the 49ers inquiring about about wide receiver Brandon Ayuk again and were told the talented wide receiver was not being traded at the time per source. Now, the reason that her report says again is because you guys might remember a few months ago during the 2024 draft, late April, the Patriots, right before day one, were trying to make a trade for one of two players. One, Debo Samuel with the 49ers, and two, Brandon Ayuk from the 49ers. Obviously, they weren't able to find mutual grounding. That trade didn't happen. The Patriots go on to select Drake May, then Jalen Polk, and the rest is history. But even after the draft, New England is doubling down, and they are trying to acquire themselves a wide receiver one to bolster with Jalen Polk, with J. Bond Baker, with Kendrick Bourne, Demario Douglas. And this really all comes about because of how unhappy and vocally unhappy Brandon Ayuk currently is with the 49ers. And I mean, really, it has been a whirlwind in the NFL with this entire Brandon Ayuk situation. You got Brandon Ayuk going on Instagram Live, posting on social media. He's really telling everybody his business with the San Francisco 49ers, really telling everybody that apparently the 49ers don't want him. He's going live with Jaden Daniels, who is the new quarterback of the Commanders. And at the end of the day, Ayuk is asking for the 49ers to just do one of two things. One, pay him. Or two, trade him to a team who will pay him. But the 49ers are saying, yeah, we're not going to do that because we don't have to do that right now. Which is technically true. Brandon Ayuk is on the final year of his contract, meaning that if an extension isn't done with him or another team, he will be a free agent at the end of this upcoming season. But he's expected to make about $14.1 million for this upcoming season. The 49ers, if they trade him, will free up all of that money, the entire $14.1 million. But just like every other single number one wide receiver in the NFL, Brandon Ayuk doesn't want to hit free agency. He wants a long-term extension right now. And if you think about it, Brandon Ayuk really doesn't have any leverage. The only leverage that he has is, okay, well, I won't participate in offseason practices. Or, okay, I'm going to sit out the season and not make my money ultimately until you pay me. And even if he does do that, the 49ers, they would be fine. They still have Debo Samuel. They just drafted Ricky Pearsall in the first round. They still have Christian McCaffrey. They have more than enough weapons to be okay without Brandon Ayuk. But on the flip side of that, you can definitely see why somebody like Ayuk would want a new contract and would want to get paid, especially with what's happened this offseason. You know, Justin Jefferson resetting the market. He got a new contract. Jalen Waddle got a new contract. Amon Ross St. Brown, he got a new contract. And Ayuk is one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. I mean, he was top 10 in receiving yards just this past season. Not just that, but statistically, he has gotten better and taken a leap forward each and every single year that he's been with the 49ers, and he probably just wants a little bit of respect. Hey, I've given back to you year after year after year and taken care of you. When am I going to get taken care of? I mean, in 2020, he went from putting up 748 yards, then in 2021, putting up 826, in 2022, leaping to 1,015 yards, then this past season, going all the way to 1,342. 
And as a Patriots fan, you can obviously understand why the team would want Brandon Ayuk. He fits perfectly into the Alex Van Pelt system. He's a guy that you can play out wide, but you can also put in the slot, really find those mismatches for him. But he's also a really, really good route runner and a really good run blocker at that. It's really hard to find a route that he doesn't run well in the NFL. And while we obviously don't know what the Patriots were offering the 49ers for Brandon Ayuk, you have to assume that it at least started with their first round pick in 2025 and currently looking at the projection for the Patriots unless they have a CJ Stroud Houston Texans unexpected like season they're going to have a top 10 pick potentially even a top five pick which is very very valuable. Me personally, I don't think that the Patriots need a wide receiver one right now. Now, look, if they can get Brandon Ayuk, they can get T. Higgins, they're able to get a wide receiver one right now. Of course, I'm not going to say don't do it, but unlike a lot of people, I don't think the Patriots need a wide receiver one right now. Every single Patriots fan wants the Patriots to just get back to the days where they were constantly a 12-win team, constantly winning the division, constantly going to Super Bowls, and those days are over. At the end of the day... Rome was not built overnight, and neither is the New England Patriots. I think if you add a true wide receiver one right now, Brandon Ayu, Debo Samuel, T. Higgins, it's going to take away from really figuring out what you have in your wide receiver core. What do you have when you actually utilize Kendrick Bourne? What do you have in your two new rookies in Jalen Polk and Javon Baker? You look at the Patriots' current wide receiver depth chart, yes, it is missing a true alpha proven number one wide receiver, but we're already talking about how hard it is for some of these guys to make that final roster. Kendrick Bourne, Demario Douglas, KJ Osborne, Jalen Polk, and Javon Baker, those are all guys that you assume are going to be pretty much locks. But then you have Tyquan Thornton, Juju Smith-Schuster, Jalen Rager, Kayshawn Booty. And let's say you do add Brandon Ayuk, you're immediately pushing one of those guys off the roster because the Patriots are only going to keep six, maybe seven max wide receivers on the active roster. Not to mention that if you make a trade for Ayuk or you make a trade for T. Higgins, not only are you going to have to give them a top-of-the-market new contract, but on top of that, you're going to have to give up high compensation. What I'm doing if I'm the Patriots is I'm seeing what I have currently in-house for this upcoming season, and then I'm reevaluating at the end of the year. If you still need a true alpha number one wide receiver, I'm going to the free agency market and throwing a bag at one, maybe multiple guys, depending on who actually hits the open market. Because at the end of the day, T. Higgins, Brandon Ayuk, you got to imagine that one of those guys, if not both of those guys, are going to end up hitting free agency because both the Bengals and the 49ers don't want to sign them to extensions, but they also don't want to trade them. You trade for one of those guys right now, again, not only are you unable to figure out what you have in-house with your own guys because you have to play that number one wide receiver, but on top of that, you do have to give up the compensation that otherwise could potentially go to an offensive tackle. Because what if the Patriots are able to land a T. Higgins or a Brandon Ayuk in free agency, and then they still have that first round pick that they can then go out in the draft and acquire a true left tackle? Now, real quick, let me play devil's advocate, and let's say the 49ers come to their senses. They realize that they're not going to get an extension done, and they want to get something for him before he hits the open market, and the pages are able to swoop in and make the trade. The contract that they're going to have to give him, of course, it's going to be a multi-year deal. In terms of what it's going to be per year, you look at the highest paid wide receivers. Justin Jefferson is making about $35 million annually per year, obviously. Ayuk is not Justin Jefferson. The second highest paid wide receiver is A.J. Brown, making about $32 million per year. And while I like Ayuk, I don't think that he is the level exactly of A.J. Brown. But then you get into Amon Ross St. Brown. You get into these Jalen Waddles and Tyree Kill. Those guys making about $28 to $30 million per year. And I think that that is around what Ayuk could make. Somewhere between $30 to $31 million per year. But this is where I kick it to you guys. What do you think about the report from Josina Anderson that the Patriots and Elliot Wolf are back at it trying to trade for 49ers Brandon Ayuk? Let me know in the comment section below. Along with, is this a move you would make or would you just kind of take a step back and see what you have in-house at least for 2024? You guys let me know though. But most importantly, never forget, go Pats.